right, time for another weekend whip. I thought I would uh, finish a page uh, in Magis Grüning, but uh, first I want to show you what I want it to look like in the end. And it's basically this technique I'm going for. So with the glowing cat, this is the end result I'm sort of aiming at. This, especially this gradient from that's Sergey <laughs> from the dark uh, background to like the slight spots. That's what I'm aiming for. It's not going to be as dark, but you'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going for. And uh, the page I'm working on is this one. As you can see, this part I've already done. Um, as I said, I'm not going from that black, uh, but still. So the part that I have left to do is this up here, which I thought you might join me in. So yeah, that's how it starts out. You see I have a marker base already down. There's two different water-based markers, three if you count the one here in the corner. So there's the really dark one, a bit lighter one, and then a really light one. And then the white is the white of the paper. Now let me zoom you in. Let's see, maybe all the way. Here we go. And uh, the, the la colors depends a lot on what you have chosen, what markers you have chosen. But the ones I'm working with for these colors are a white uh, polychromos, uh, so that's a what? What's the number? Um, 101. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. Uh, then we have the green one here. 158. And this is the last polychromos I'm using. 157. Wait, there's another color. Here. And this is another polychromos I'm using. This is the 162. And then I have one little Jolly Stick Kinderfest here. It's like in a bluish green color. I don't think there's a number here. Yo, it is. It's uh, 34. If you happen to have the Jolly Stick Kinderfest pencils. Jolly Stick Kinderfest, I mean. Then we have the Faber-Castell... Uh, Two of the Fabricastel um, um, pastel pencils, I guess. And by pastel, I mean pastel colors, not uh, like chalk pastel. And since we're going to press a lot, um, I have a blotter page behind my page, a piece of paper, and that's to keep the yeah, especially to protect my finished page, this one, from getting ink from this page on it. I'm not that bothered about whips getting color on them or, you know, uh, uncolored pages getting color from colored pages. But I don't want my colored pages to get damaged uh, by the ink from uncolored ones. Did that make sense? I don't know. It makes sense in my head. Um, let's see. I think we had you here. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to get started. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, it's a bit of an experiment the whole way. Um, so um, yeah, but basically with this light green, I'm going to blend out the um, uh, the edge, I guess. I'll start with that. Yeah, it's. Sunday evening, uh, the week before you're seeing this video, I'm going to, yeah, so if you, if the chronology of my <laughs> videos isn't making sense to you, it's because they're not filmed in order right now. Let me, I think I need a bit more light. There we go. And I also need to sharpen my pencil, so there we go. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, if the, yeah, as I said, if the chronology is not making sense, that's the reason. Um, yeah, 
yeah. Otherwise, what's more has been happening? Not that much. I, uh, it's been an intensive work week, but let's not talk or think about that. It's Monday tomorrow. That's when we are, <laughs> when we can think about that. Uh, yeah, so I just came back from playing some board games, which was a lot of fun. Uh, I like board games a lot. Um, yeah, both the ones where I have to think a bit, or actually, like I, I don't like, hmm, I don't like when I have to plan too much, but I do like. Uh, when I sort of can follow an ins instinct instead of like having to count too much. And I also like reaction games. I don't know if that... Like I'm not really a planner, like even when I play... Uh, I think it's called check, right? Uh, yeah, the... Or you know, strategic games. I don't really... I'm not that good at, you know, making elaborate plans. Uh, but I do like, I'm quite good at the more, not spontaneous, but like, you know, feeling of, or following a certain uh, strategic guidelines, I guess, you know, like not having a horse on the, um, next to the edges of the board or I think it's called a knight, by the way, in English, right? It's not a horse. Uh, anyway, stuff like that, like having as few thumb rules and then... Is it called a thumb rule? In, rule of thumb, there we go. <laughs> um, and then following that. So, for example, like in board games, the ones where you have to uh, uh, gather points, I'm not really one for, you know, planning or calculating too much ahead, but just enough to just enough to get by yeah, it's fun I don't like Monopoly though the whole game is a bit of a social experiment I think like trying to show you uh, there's like there was an interesting not article but like a, yeah of the person who designed it was like a critique of the I think it was like uh, it's a bit more political than you think <laughs> uh, the creation of the game like the background of the whole thing anyway but yeah I think it's like 8 o'clock so it's really dark outside it's not the darkest part of the year yet, but I'm definitely taking my vitamin D's. And if you live in the north and you're not taking D vitamin, you're probably D vitamin deprived. Uh, so do that. I uh, really, I find it interesting how how. Uh, you know how the body works with uh, vitamins and so on. Vitamins are basically stuff that we can't create on our own. Uh, we need to get them from the outside. And yeah, I really like in my next life or when I get the time, I'm going to do some Wikipedia research. <laughs> it's fun. So. There we go. Now the lighting is a bit odd. I'm sorry for that. Let's see if I if what makes it better. I mean, this is just that's the time of the year. <laughs> um, but you see, for example, I have some imperfections here, but I'm trying going to try to smooth out a bit now, or not smooth out, but like make a bit more. All right, there we go. So that's the first step, so to say. Now I'm going to go in with my darker green. I'm going to sharpen it first. And 
Oh, I see. I missed a star over here. So let's do that first, actually. Because I want to be done with this background, finally. I think this has been a work in progress for uh, maybe half a year. I think I started it. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a year. I don't know. Alright, anyway. Let's see. Um, so this one I have to be a bit more careful with. With the other color I used like a medium pressure but this one is a bit darker so I'm using my really light pressure actually and then I'll go in with a bit harsher pressure later on I think um, I am covering the area that the marker was on as well Something like that. I'm going to turn you around. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I have a weird line there so let's do a bit of scribbling on both sides of it to like conceal it a bit there we go I started a new book called uh, Princess of Amber or maybe the five Princess of Amber um I really like the premise and I really like the start of it, but I don't know, maybe it still has a lot of intriguing, it's definitely like keeping my interest, but it's not like my next big favorite, I think. Um, it's 10 books, so it's a bit of an investment, but we'll see, maybe I don't need to read them all in a one by the other. Maybe I can give it a bit of room to breathe in between. Um, I think right now my issue is that the uh, main character feels a bit OP, like overpowered. I, uh, he's a bit perfect. He's a bit, uh, a bit too good. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Hmm. Um, oh, you're not seeing. Sorry, 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 sorry. I was over here. Um, but yeah. Let's see, I haven't done this part yet. I don't really... I find the pros a bit troublesome as well, I think. Or not troublesome, but uh, not really... I think it's it's the main character me basically who's bothering me, I think. Uh, but yeah. I can definitely see where someone would like it though. It's it's not it's not bad bad. Uh, but it's not uh, my next favorite book, I think. I don't remember what I talked about last time. Let's see, this is getting a bit... There's some... I think I need a bit more pages in between. Because over here... 
I'm getting some texture from the page below. So I put a bit more pages of paper in between, so hopefully it won't disturb me that much. Alright, and that's basically how we'll, I will continue this. Let's see. Yeah, okay, it's been 15 minutes, so... Um, as you saw, the progress is kind of slow, right? So let me just show you how, how I would go do the finishing bits, and then we'll I'll do the rest on my own. So, let's see. Now I need my white, and I need my white as a color. So, um, here we are. I'll start with color covering the star and the circle with the white polychromos with kind of hard pressure. Or not kind of hard pressure, with the really hard pressure actually. There we go. And then I'll go with my lightest color and sort of cover everything in the vicinity of the star. This is really burnishing the colors together. It's also leaving a bit of a, uh, what's it called, a bit of a, mm, a remnants I guess on the green as you see here for example, like it's not, it's this Pastel color is not that uh, good, so to say. All right. Then I'll go in with my light green again into some of the areas where I want to get rid of that chalkiness. because the uh, edges here aren't done yet so I have to work around it a bit but yeah something like that and then for example in between here I want it a bit more dark again so you know I'll go in with the dark again Something like that, and then I'll just, you know, if I see some imperfection, I try to fix it. I, somewhere I have gone in with some of the dark indigo, like maybe let's do that in this corner here. And in some places, just for interest, I go in with this blue um, Jolly Stick Kinderfest and this is mostly just for this color is quite different than the other ones but uh, it does uh, bring some like a little extra touch to it you can hear it became out a bit scratchy but that's fine I'll just blend it out Maybe go over with white again. All right, I want to mute that up a bit more so I'll go in with a bit of the green again 
And this is just, you know, kind of experimental. I don't really know what I'm doing, as I said, but uh, yeah, the end effect should be kind of interesting. But yeah, so let me zoom you out again. We kind of did that little part up here. And I'll finish the rest of it. And then uh, we'll see. But you see some of the blue down here, right? And here in these stars. I think the end result should be kind of cool. Let's see if I can. This is how it's looking like. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue on this now. And I'll see you next time. Bye.